Okay, here we go. Lesson two, practice problems. Uh, number one, so they say line S, D is a line of symmetry for figure A, X, P, D, Z, H, M, S. Wow, that was a lot. Don't let all the letters uh, trip you up. Noah, this guy named Noah, is saying that A, X, P, D, S is congruent to H, M, Z, D, S because A, X, and H, M are corresponding. So, um, why is Noah's congruence statement incorrect? Well, it's out of order. That's the big problem. Um, remember that order matters in a congruence statement. So if we're going to say um, A, X, P, D, S, uh, we're going to have to um, go in the right order for the other figure. So it should be M, H, Z, D, S. But he went H, M, Z, D, S. He went out of order. So, um, so let's write a correct congruence statement for the pentagons. Again, they're trying to um, teach you about order matters. So let's just use, uh, so A, X, P, D, S is actually congruent to M, H, Z, D, S. So there's that one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Number two. Figure M, B, J. So M, B, J, K, G, H is the image of A, F, E, K, J, B after being rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about point K. Okay. Um, draw a segment in figure AFEKJB to create a quadrilateral. Draw the image of the segment when rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about point K. All right. Um, so that one's pretty easy. Uh, you would Oh, I'm gonna need to pause this because I need patty paper. Actually, hang on one sec. I'll get it. <clears throat> Okay, so let's do this. A, F, E, K, J, B. So when rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about K, it goes to that. Okay, I see what they're saying. So draw a figure in AFE KJB So draw a figure in AFE KJB a segment to create a quadrilateral uh, Draw the image of the segment when rotated 90 degrees about point K Okay, no worries. Quadrilateral is um, a four-sided polygon. So if I just drew this line right here, that would make this a quadrilateral, right? Rectangle is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. So quad, four, lateral, four lateral sides. So we got to uh, draw the image when we rotated counterclockwise about K, 90 degrees. So if we go K, 90 degrees, it's going to be right there. Uh, 
So then um, it would probably help to label this one. Uh, so A, B, A, F, E, let's just call it uh, C. And then let's call this one, um, let's just call this one D because D hasn't been used yet, neither has C. So write a congruence statement for the quadrilateral you created. So this one right here. And the image of the quadrilateral in this one. So let's just call it A, C, E, F. So we'll say A, C, E, F is congruent to So A, C, E, F. If you rotate about K, A, C, E, F is going to be congruent to this one, which is M, D, J, B. M, D, J, B. So there you go. There's your congruent statement. So A, C, E, F congruent to M, D, J, B. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, we've seen this problem number three before. Um, so triangle H, E, F. So H, E, F is the image of F, G, H after a 180 degree rotation about point K. Select all the statements that must be true. Okay, so let's just draw this. So H, E, F, K. There's G. Let's label the points. Okay, so if we rotated this 180 degrees, so if we rotated... Um, this one 180 degrees it would land on H E F so what that means is 180 degree rotation excuse me let me just connect these lines to make it a little easier try not to eye your do as I say not as I do right <clears throat> but Anyway, if you rotated this around H, it's gonna go to there. That's what they're saying. So we've got to select all the true, true statements. So triangle FGH, is it congruent to FEH? Well, let's find out. So FGH, is it congruent to FEH? No. It's congruent to H E F. So that one is out of order. Triangle E F H. Is it congruent to G F H? So is E F H. So E F H. Is it congruent to G F H? Well, let's find out. E F H. So we did that again. It's going to end up right here. EFH is congruent to, you can see through the paper, GHF. They said GFH, so that's incorrect. Okay, angle KHE. So KHE, is this one congruent to KFG? I think it is. Let's just double check. So you got this one. H, or sorry, K. H E congruent to K F G. So let's see if this little angle ends up right here. Yes, it does. So yes, these are congruent. So that one's correct. And then angle G H K, is that one congruent to angle K H E? 
GHK. So we'll do two notches for that one. His GHK congruent to KHE. I don't think so because I think it's up here. So let's double check. So this angle right here, is it congruent to this one? We'll find out. You see your little 180? No. It's congruent to this one up here. So no, that's not true. Is segment EH congruent to FG? So EH and FG. Let's find out. They look to be, but this is a tricky one because I think it's out of order. So EH is right here. EH. Let's see if it's congruent to FG. So you spin it. EH is going to be congruent to this and this, which are GF. So no, FG is wrong. It's out of order. And then last but not least, segment GH, is it congruent to EF? So is GH congruent to EF? Looking like it might be. Let's see. So GH and EF. Remember, they got to be in the right order. So G is going to go up to E. Yep. So you see the G and the H upside down. Um, that is congruent to EF. So, yep, the answer should be C and F. So, um, good luck. Uh, or um, Hopefully you did okay on those. Um, just one, two, and three for lesson two. And uh, we'll do another video for lesson three here in a second. Thank you.